Start, we could get some shit out of the way that we ain't cover back in the G just and I ain't gotta really talk about it much, but we gonna salute KC, Pat Mahomes them. We ain't really get on the playoff run with the um with the podcast, but that was a pretty good season. Pat Mahomes them pulled it off for KC now, man, you know. <clears throat> and uh yeah, so, man. it's a good ass game, good ass Super Bowl game. Came down to the end who had the ball last. Right, and I got to give props to Hurts and Philly. And, you know, like, at first I thought it was just somewhat, you know, Philly got hot. But now, to me, I'm going to say Philly. Philly here to stay. Philly, Philly, Philly here for the near future. Philly here. Philly going to have something to say the next five years. Philly about to have Philly gonna have something to say, brother. You know how to go on that Andy Reid run? Right? Yeah, cause his my because it's all about the head. They had mind right. That nigga mind right. Hurts mind right, dog. The nigga Hurts gonna always win because he he you do, do what? he do everything right, bro. And he's a learner. And I'm fucking with Hurts, but I like the Sean Payton of them. I feel like he. They coach give me Sean Payton by. Like, he gonna keep winning. Like, yeah. that nigga go for it on fourth down more than anybody. He a different new breed head coach. Right. You know what I'm saying? The analytics and shit on going for it on fourth down. They really might not. They, they might not make it to the fucking Super Bowl if he ain't rocking like that, to be right. real. That small little thing could have. And this one I like people. about him, too. He uh, he's good with knowing what his players can do. Certain like Sean Payton, I'm gonna be good with whatever I have to work with. Mm-hmm. All right, Jalen Hurts came to the league. He ain't no pocket quarterback like that no more. Not mean like that yet. I'm gonna develop him into that. But right now, we doing read option. and woo 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 woo. We practicing this woo woo woo, and then about time the middle of the season come. Philly was fucking everybody up because you don't know what they about to run. They coming out and read option, then the next play they coming out in regular pro style shit. Woo do woo do woo. So he showing me he know how to switch it up. Shit, yeah, you fucking with that. Yeah, we ain't gonna harp too much on, on the Super Bowl. That we'll be talking about that shit. Man. Yeah, but um, but look, cool. You know what I won't get into? Ja Morant, bro. We <laughs> oh, got to man. get on Ja Morant. Talk about Ja Morant and the situation. You feel me? You know, first and foremost, I hope the man get himself together. I don't think the man did nothing so fucking crazy like, like that. that. Well, I ain't gonna say it like that. He definitely stepped out of character and not, it wasn't no smart decision to be, to be to be showing no gun on Instagram. Right, right. For sure. But, he even tripping. though we need to hold him accountable to make sure he getting himself together and get right, the shit I don't like about it, it it be our own people, bro, just saying dumbass shit and, and, and fucking over the man. Like, like you ain't got children. Like, you ain't got a brother. Like, you ain't your fucking self. Like, we all perfect out here. So, that's the, that's the most thing I hate about the situation. I just actually had my first ever Facebook, tw- Facebook shit. I'm up here typing niggas on Facebook defending... John Moran, I ain't never did no typing shit, Twitter fingers and all that. Right. But that shit hit me different when I see my peers, black dudes, on Facebook talking about don't be John Moran and his pa need to be a, a daddy and stop being a fan. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how the, first of all, how you don't want to be John Moran? This nigga, $200 million out of deal. Nike deals, great ass NBA player, got a story behind him. Just because of a couple of mistakes? Well, let me know what uh what God at all. Let me know Jesus ain't do nothing wrong. You know, let me know what the hell going on because this man ain't perfect. This right. man 23 years old. Right. 23 years old, bro, trying to have some fun doing whatever he doing. He ain't did he ain't go out here and shoot nobody. 
or kill nobody or stealing and robbing. The man doing something we don't accept him doing, knowing he got so much to lose. Right. I get it. We get it. But we can't be on here downing a man and fucking over the man and like acting like he's some thug, mm -hmm. criminal, wooty woo, wooty woo. No, we, we gotta we gotta protect our own, man. That's a no. that's us. John Moran is us. That's how Jalen Rose said it. I am John Moran. He done been in them same shoes. You know what I'm saying? No, Getting no, no, raided, no, no, no. drug houses, whatever. You know, us young being stupid. I'm gonna say it was a stupid thing for sure, but man, don't crucify the man, bro. Like he can't make no mistakes or something, man. You know, so yeah, I'm on Facebook going back and forth with dudes like, what you talking about? Like, how, how T Moran got something to do with this? Like, you you telling me y'all rather not see T Moran at the game so y'all ain't have nobody to blame this on or something? You see a black man supporting his son, whether you see him having fun or whatever, you gonna hold that against him because his son got in some trouble? That's fucked up. Like that that's just all the way fucked up to be. To even look at it like that. Be stop being a fan and be a father. Man, if somebody told me that in front of my face, I'd probably slap the piss out of them. Straight up. If somebody told me that about my child, knowing I'm doing whatever I could do for my, my goddamn kids. Stop being a fan and be a father. Man, you got me fucked up. Right. Like right. what? You got me all and, the way and, fucked and, up. And, and to me, all the people who criticizing T, y'all wrong. Ja, a fucking grown man that just got this money. You think he gonna listen to his part? He gonna listen to certain shit, but certain shit, he gonna be a young man. He gonna be, you know, he paying the bills around this motherfucker now. So it's certain shit, he, he, he feeling this so. He just need to be calmed back that's, down. That's another point, Genesis. Yeah. So once you get that money, nigga, you the leader. Now. Yeah, you the leader now. You know, yeah. you know whether your your people in your life or whatever, but still, you still the leader. Nobody can't really just straight guide you to do what you want to do right now, man. Right. You the leader. You know what I'm saying? So all that backlash with the pops. Yeah, and they, crucifying the man. That, that, that's who they've been. They, they've been going that T hard. What the fuck T supposed to do? What T supposed to do? This man supposed yeah. to do. I, and I'm telling the dude, I'm telling the dude off him like, what you, what you, what you think T doing, and what you want him to do? do. <laughs> he said, well, he need to talk to him more and all that, even if he been talking to him. The fuck? So you want him to do the same thing he doing before the incident, after the yeah, incident, you just want him to do it more, talk more. Dude, a grown ass man, man bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you mean? Uh, if you perfect, let me know. Let me know after your 17th birthday that you ain't making a mistake in life after right. your 17 year old birthday. Let me know that. <laughs> right. So, so you can write the book so we can listen, do your blueprint. You feel me? Because that's stupid as hell, man. Come on, man. With all the allegations the man got against him, yeah, that was dumb as hell to flash a gun on IG knowing who you are. But come on, man! Like it's yeah, a that, it was a dumb, but a you don't go to bashing that man, folks, and you know, you you know, questioning his pop, his mama, you know, like you questioning them people, like like as if Ja ain't grown, as if them people was at their house sleep, man. This shit was one o'clock in the morning when dudes did that, man. It was five in the morning. Yeah, that's <laughs> some shit. It was right. five in the morning, but you know, yeah, like. <laughs> Who, who got the rule? Tony Dungeon. It said Tony Dungeon with uh, Warren Sapp said he got four or five rules that uh, keep you out of trouble. After one day, yeah. After 12 or something, driving uh, past 15 miles past the speed limit or some shit, alcohol, drugs, and something else. It was, you know, something of that nature. And that's what this is, man. You know, and I just saw a post that uh, Steven Adams. Steven Adams said he had that he had just told the team we need to take this shit more serious and not be going out as much when we on the road. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a veteran move. We got young ass players on this team with Ja probably leading the way with we turned. You know what I'm saying? Steven Adams noticed that. Fuck, we need to get it together, man. Get back on basketball more a little more. And shit like this could happen, you know. And what people gotta realize with Ja. As cold as Ja is, Ja didn't expect this. Ja never ain't see this shit coming. 
they, you know, them dudes is at a, a, a at a high that they that you could never imagine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just three years ago, Ja was around this bitch trying to figure it out, hoping, working hard to being a two hundred million dollar nigga in thirty six months. For sure, he flashed out. Yeah. Simple. He, yeah. he he flashing out right now. He got something. His dream, he done already accomplished it. Not, they got to get his mind back right to keep on going now. Letting them know that ain't it. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you got to straighten up. But they got to realize, though, Jock come from being a fucking two-star recruit. You know, I'm going to say Jock was like Lamar Peters down here. But got around them people and it's the rest is history. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? He was took crazy this shit though. He wasn't even Lamar. Yeah, what I'm saying. They don't Lamar, think Lamar got D one scholarships and shit. This man, I mean, do with Murray State, you know, a, a, a mid mid man, major, major yeah. whatever Murray State may be, but you ain't he ain't even Lamar. Right. Lamar man, had you said more. You talk to his people. You, 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 his people tell you like, man, we work for this shit. Yeah, nobody was wasn't looking at us. Job people on three, four yeah, different dude, occasions. People was like, nobody wasn't checking for us. Dude, like, he went killed some shit in a camp or something. He went to the Chris Paul camp or something. Told that bitch up. I think he was at Murray State. He said, I don't know if, if he dunked on somebody or something at the camp. And they saw him on a draft board. Like, damn, this nigga, they got him at 30 something or something. They said, when he, in the, in the tournament or something, when he dunked on dude or whatever, he, he got, yeah, about two, three dunks in that tournament. <laughs> My draft, he top five now, man. God <laughs> damn, this shit went crazy right quick. You know what I'm saying? But man, and they talking about the people around him and all that shit. That now. dude blew up. I done met four or five of these dudes, plus his uncle and his dad. These are good dudes. Now I don't know if it's people I haven't saw. I haven't been around like that to really judge nobody, but hey, these good dudes just do it around. I don't know about the Indiana Pacers shit with the laser gun. That was just totally opposite of what mm -hmm. the people I experienced, for sure. Total opposite of what I experienced. I didn't really kick it with Jock personally himself. He was playing ball and shit or at the game, but his partners and these all basketball dudes, like dudes who played ball with him or, you know, um, coming up and shit like that. So that was different for me. I mean, and we from New Orleans. It's nothing but thugging now here. Yeah, like, so, I don't know, maybe they thugging look a little different than ours, but they look like some St. Aug niggas or something. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas who ain't into shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, you see, don't judge a book by its cover, but fuck. I didn't get no type of vibe like that at these dudes with guns and trying to do something and all that. Do straight basketball talk every time I'm around. Right. You know, so... You know, and I know everybody ain't been in their company like that, but shit crazy, man. And I just hate to see us black folks tearing a man out like we fucking perfect or something. That's what I ain't like about this shit. Like, I didn't like that. Like, people can't make mistakes and, oh, if I would have had all this money, I would. You don't know what the fuck you will be doing, man. If you had $200 million out of contract, you probably quit basketball. You know you don't you don't know what you'll be doing. Plan the basketball that got you the bridge, you probably have quit just because you got the bridge. And see, I must speak on this sharp, but this is another topic for another day. A lot of you know, I feel like a lot of these dudes lately in the last ten years, you've been seeing them do it. A lot of dudes been high picks coming into that league and been quitting the league. Like like it come with too much. Woo, 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 I'm straight. I done made it. They be getting bad. Like, I understand y'all, nigga could call Jamarcus Russell what he want, but when I heard him tell it how he told it, nah, I respect it, bro. Like, man, it's too much. This shit too much. Like, you on the outside looking in this shit, hard work. Nigga, like, he blew 200 million. He could have, that shit is hard work. I'm up for all million dollars, man. I don't want to go through the stresses of the NFL no more. I'm walking away from the game. I'm straight. Why? That's a problem. Jamal Russell said, I'm set. My family's straight. I'm straight. 
we good, everything taken care of, I ain't blow my money, right. I'm good. I'm, right. And he might be able to walk when he's 70. He, look what he said, I'm way past what I ever thought I was going to be. That was Jamarcus Russell said on I Am At Lee. Like, you know, and another dude recently quit football. Uh, you see a niggas quitting their prime, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you, though, you think Andrew Luck really could stresses of this shit, dog? Make niggas. Man, Andrew Luck wasn't really done, brother. Right? Stress, stresses of that fucking league. I'm up already. We got money. Man, fuck that shit. I'm straight. Why are we bash niggas who be like, I'm straight? You see what I'm saying? We should, we should man. They beat the game, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, man. Stop playing, man. You got niggas like Anthony Bennett. You don't know what was going through Anthony Bennett here when he got drafted and they got that money. Maybe, yeah, I'm not that good. These, these niggas, you know, it's not my fault they drafted me number one. But now all this pressure on me of being number one, woo de woo de woo they, they feel like I'm supposed to be averaging 20 or 10 a night. I'm averaging 12 or 10. I'm stressing, I'm feeling like I ain't good enough no more, woo, woo, woo. You know what, man? This shit stressing me out. I don't want to play no more. Why we bash a nigga for that? It's cold, bro, you know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because a lot of shit, all these people paying you millions of dollars, you know what come with this? These people follow you. You don't have no privacy. You don't have no dog. A lot come with that shit, dog. That shit is the feds. Yeah, yes, indeed. You see what I'm saying? That shit is the feds. Shit. So that's why some niggas quit that shit. Yeah. Get that I'm money or I'm up. I'm about to go invest in real estate. I'm about to go move. I'm about to go live my life. Yep. A lot of niggas be at home laughing. They be getting bashed, but they're at home laughing. Let me tell you this. Right now, when the last time Memphis came down and played in Pelicans, we all, <clears throat> it was his daddy's birthday. So just so happened, JT, who who uh part of the training <clears throat> staff on um ja, on ja team, he drew you know kind of drew his parallel, little get together whatever, woo do woo. Long story short, after the party, you know he was telling us like man, Ja ain't never been able to just go into a spot and chill, be free, walk around, and it wasn't no big old spot or nothing, but. Right. Like, he ain't been able to do that in years. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's telling him. Now, you know, just, just thinking like that, the stress it come with being a superstar. You know, yeah, down in the face of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? No privacy. No privacy. Like, dude was in there chilling, bro. I mean, having a good little time. You know, and that's what JT saw. Like, damn, bro, dude really was comfortable. You know, walk to the bar and shit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. He can't even do these things. You know what I'm wow, saying? He can't, can't do that. that. I can't imagine living like that. Can't imagine living like that, man. Like, come on, man. Like, I, 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 but that's one thing I loaded, noticed about my city. We don't give, we don't really, we show some, we have Southern hospitality, mm -hmm. but we not paparazzi crazy down here. No, nah, we're not. Nah, we, we motherfuckers not. down here re respect motherfuckers. Right. Like, when celebrities come down here, they'll never have no problem with the paparazzi. You ever notice that? They'll never have no problem with motherfucker following them around everywhere. Else. Right. You know, a celebrity pull up, they gonna go home, pop that new all that shit at them, but they gonna be able to keep it moving. Our celebrities come and go through this bitch. They keep yeah. it moving good. I mean, but no, they be in them other town, motherfucker be following them from they be outside their house and shit when they come out. Right. Outside their house and follow them to the launch. Man, we man, already stop feel it, like man. <clears throat> we bad as you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We cold as you, you know, anyway. You ain't special. Our culture, you ain't get no culture like this. Nah, yeah, you bro, ain't get no culture like this. World, we bro. breathe yeah. fucking super. So let just come fly. down here and chill and breathe and and, right. and, and good. Right. Yeah. Right. They flow through New Orleans right. good. That's why they undercover be buying houses all over the place. You don't be knowing about yeah, it. Yeah, fucking right. The you find out one day, such and such got a house uptown. Such and such got a house New Orleans, one of the most historical places in the United States. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so, it is. It is. you might want to fuck with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> you come down here, niggas going to give you some real estate right. shit and all that. You we know, got for sure. cool buildings you can turn into some nice shit. It's a fact. <laughs> 
that 35% of this country was Louisiana at one oh, time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. you know. You know what I'm saying? Right. All that Midwest, all that yeah. that's Louisiana yeah. for real. We the land Missouri, of the Arkansas, all that shit really Louisiana, bro. All that. All that Mississippi. When you when you cross over the Mississippi state line, you in Mississippi. You going to pass up the first Louisiana's governor's mansion. That bitch going to say first Louisiana's governor's mansion. But you in Mississippi. Right now, to this day, right. and we go straight through the east, right now, yeah. when we get in Mississippi, you're going to see the first governor's mansion of Louisiana, right. but it's in yeah. Mississippi. Right. 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 Oh, that's us. Let me put history yeah. down there, bro. Yeah, but, um, but you know, man, look, you all, you all salute the Jado, bro. Smoke the sports, best, we, 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 we rocking with you, bro. We going we gonna, to, you know, make the best out of that shit. You feel me? Like, we ain't gonna get our hand and, and call you no clown and, 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 and fuck over you and saying you just retarded and you won't be a thug well, and you know, a you know. crip and all that, like, skip and all I'm talking about. <laughs> fuck no, man. We can see you just having some fun. Right. And you might be going through a little something. It's tough in your position, you know what I'm saying? So you releasing your shit how you release it. Man. You know, and, 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 and in times like that, we may make some mistakes, bro. You know, it is what it is, but we salute you. We hope you do whatever you got to do to get get where you want to be, bro. Get your mind right. And, you know, see you back on that court where we all love to see you do, you know. Well, there's, there's everybody. But shout out T. Moran, man. I ain't no fuck all that, man. Ain't no, it can't get no better than what you're doing as a parent, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck all yeah. that. Like, shout out to T. Ain't nobody fucking, you know. Come on, man. man yeah, y'all going to bash that man, T. So we salute him. Of course, we want to hold Jock accountable for doing, you know, for making a mistake like that. But man, we not about to, we not about to fuck over you behind and shit like that, man. Get, do what you gotta do. Get back right. See you on that court, my nigga. Yeah, hopefully we see you. Back Even on if that you ain't court. on the court, we salute you. Like, it is what it is. All right. Now, um, another thing, see, in the NBA, bro. NBA done got tricky since we done been on this bitch, right. man. We these got, trades, bro. These trades. We got KD in Phoenix with Booker and Chris Paul. We got Kyrie in Dallas with Luka James. You know, I call him Luka James. <laughs> 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 LeBron in You feel me? Uh, we got LeBron, got a whole new damn team. We got Russell Westbrook out of there. He went to the other and LA team. And I actually team. like how he playing it. I actually like the fit. I don't. I, like I feel fit. like the Clippers just went from contender to now you ain't doing oh, nothing. No. That, that's my opinion. Contender to pretender. Every game they've been right there since dude been, been back. They lost all of them except the last by, one. By three points or less. It don't matter. It don't matter what you lose by the NBA. Football, I feel you. The NBA don't matter. They lost. You know, football, I feel you. I, 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 I like his fit with the Clippers more than the Lakers. For sure, for sure, for him. This was best for him. That move was best for him. He could, he could, he could revive his shit over him. He could, he could really revive his shit in the Clippers, bro. You might be right. I don't know. He, really, he really could revive his shit, but I ain't gonna lie, brother. I ain't tripping off the Clippers. It's, it's, it's fucking Phoenix and Dallas, bro. Like Golden State. I like Golden State. Good. I don't think Golden State could beat none of them right now. Uh, be, 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 Curry come back, yeah, I ain't lying, dog. I, I, I really think, boy, look, I took you niggas six games already, boy, by myself. You gave me the assassin? You gave me the killer? We beat you. I'm, fuck that. Luka now. Yeah, fuck that. We, look, Golden State and Dallas play, you gonna see. That shit gonna be something like when Kimba and them was fucking in, in, in UConn. Two guards. Bitch, we gonna come kick. We, we gonna come. I'm telling you, dog. It's gonna be tough that West. I'm, I'm telling you, dog. Yeah. I still like LeBron, me. Yeah, I like LeBron. I like what LeBron LeBron got. come back and with a little time to get ready for them offs, they can get in there. They're gonna be tough, too. I got LeBron, Golden State, Phoenix, and Dallas. I don't like Memphis. I don't feel like they just. I think see, Denver niggas. See, don't fuck with Denver, you know. <laughs> see, 
C C thinks Denver is a fag. Right. You hear me? I fucks with Denver. I do. He but fuck with the players over there. He don't fuck with them as a team. You ain't got no. You ain't got no LeBron on the team. You got Jokic, but. What I mean by LeBron, somebody who could come get you. I'm saying, if they get that bubble Murray, if they get that bubble Murray, I fuck with Murray. If they get that bubble Murray, they oh, gonna, it's going it. down. If they get that bubble Murray, and then remember, they ain't have Porter in the bubble. Porter was hurt. They ain't have Porter. You know I mean, you? Denver possibly has the best team in the West. Right. Denver. I mean, they number one. In the West. They got the best record in the league still, now, nah, or Boston? Uh, I think it's Milwaukee out there. Milwaukee number one, I think. Nah, they, they, they close. But. But think about Denver, they deep, see? They got now, best. I see, they have the best team. All right. Cool. So, like, overall-wise, they got Porter, Murray, uh, Aaron Gard. They probably got the best starting five. You know what I'm saying? For real. Them Golden State maybe. Boston got the best starting five in the league. When when dude out there, when Williams on the floor. I'm talking about the West. Oh, the West. Oh, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. The West for sure. They got the best starting five in the West. It's over Golden State. Golden State top three have it. You know, pool. Because Boston got a good starting five too. With Al Horford starting, he's still the top of the line. Never, never got the best starting five. But they in the got, West. yeah, they got they got some depth. But them alls. Half court offense. That system ain't uh, that fast shit ain't gonna get it unless you. You, I feel like you gotta be coming like Golden State. You gotta be analy analytics with it. Now Memphis trying to do that. They trying to speed you up and shoot threes. But when it come down, we I still gotta see them do it. When it come down, somebody gonna be slowing your ass down in that fourth quarter for sure. Close game. Who gonna get you these buckets? Or you gonna make these big stops? I feel like LeBron and them got that right there for sure. So you feeling like Denver? Denver got the better team than Phoenix, but the KD Booker effect. Yeah, what that, you gonna that, do that, that, in the fourth quarter? That's what's gonna we win the game. We got everybody on lock. We slowing you down. We know what you're doing. I get it. Now. You feel me? Like yeah, they got you a good take team. Over and score. But at some point, you need the niggas. At some point, you need the niggas. At some point, you, I don't care how good. All right, I don't care how good. Your fucking big man here. Like, as good as Shaq was, he still needed a nigga up there in that fucking backcourt. Like, you still need a nigga. Elijah one, he had Drexler. <laughs> Drexler was the second best nigga in the league behind Mike. I mean, the only nigga couldn't fuck with, um, could fuck with Drexler. Mike, you see what I'm saying? Go back. All the big men. Kareem, yeah, but you had that nigga breaking it up. Magic. See, you gotta have that nigga Giannis, on the wing. I mean, you Period. be a nigga who can make shots in a half court set. Right. Giannis got Chris Middleton. He made, you know, he made big shots. He could pose niggas up. He could, you know, he exactly. could shoot that half court. Right. And Jimmy really could do that. Jimmy, Bam, Miami got a team. They got a playoff team. They might not win every game on the regular season. season all that. They got a playoff team. Playoff team, we about to put it down on the line. Shit, the people could beat you. They got everything you need. Shoot does everything. But um with the East right quick for Brooklyn, they gone, they got Mikel Brady, got a bunch of young talent guards and shit, but they gonna still end up in the playoffs. You know what? They gonna be tough to beat in the playoffs in the East, because the East wide open. The East is East the best. Wide open. The East got the East where the beast is at right now. Son. East got Giannis them, they got um Philly by pick. Philly, you got Boston. You know, and now Atlanta turned it back up. I like Atlanta. Murray, you know, Atlanta like turned Atlanta, it back up. Atlanta, they, they going to give you the Steph Curry and the vibes with Trey Young. And Trey Young, I feel like, oh, watch it, dog. Oh! oh that shit was too <laughs> they going to give you. Uh, it wasn't too bad. To me, they, Atlanta going to be more dangerous in the playoffs this year than it was last year. Not just by the simple fact, Murray there. But by Trey and Young. Jimmy healthy. Jimmy was hurt last year playing. Well, Atlanta, though. Trey, Trey Young. Oh, Atlanta. I'm sure. Yeah. Trey Young, he's not shooting all them trees no more like he, he was. Just settling. Taking. 
Now he taking less threes, being more efficient. I'm pretty sure his turnovers are down. He might still have a, a, a good bit of them because he doing his thing, but they're going to be hard to beat in the off, him and Murray. Because Trey Young playing a little bit better. Trey Young really Fuck doing him, his thing. We do average 27 and 10, bro. Like, now, you know, um, that's tough. See, um, the fucking, um, the Knicks, bro. How you. Julius Randle, man. Shout out to Ju. Shout out to Julius Randle. Boy, Boy, Julius Randle cutting up right now. They got, they got two, they got two niggas. With a team, though. I've been telling you about dude Brunson. I've been liking them since college. Villanova, man. Dude, but he was one of them niggas had to play three years and prove himself. Yeah. Or some shit, or two years or something. He he wasn't no one and done. He done got his money. Dude, cold. Ain't that cool, bro? It's like, damn, we just be wanting to see how our niggas go, bro, because I see him and I see Lamar Peters. Right. Now, they, their game ain't the same, but, you know, they left-handed. Lamar better Lamar. score than him. I, and I watch both of them. And I, I like, don't know about that, though. Yeah. You know why? Because it's different. Lamar shit look pretty as a motherfucker, but you can't stop Jalen. You can't. He going to post you up and everything. He different with it. He, gonna, he, he Paul Pierce. You know how you, how you just compare Paul Pierce to a nigga back right. in the G like Tracy McGrady, who but he Tracy McGrady, of course. He the six nine assassin, right. you know who, who. But Paul Pierce gonna give you them same he, numbers he, for yeah. the most part. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? And he just gonna do it different. Old right. school ball. Put you on my back or oh, nigga can't check Jay the brunch tonight, man. Just on some ball or shit. Yeah, can't check Brunson, him. that nigga cold. He can't check him. Now he Jenna ain't gonna Brunson. move you around like Lamar. You know what I'm saying? And Lamar probably a better shooter than him, but Brunson still can shoot it. You know, he a set shooter, but Lamar probably a better shooter than him. But I be thinking about because that's him. You know, him, Fred, Vlad, Fleet, all them niggas. Both of them ain't get drafted, you know? Jalen Brunson, oh, uh, Fred Van Fleet. Oh, Jalen Brunson got drafted. Jalen Brunson was the, they spent the first round pick on him. Yeah, but not Dallas? Yeah, Dallas. He Brunson won the first round. You know, they just won the chip in Villanova. They won the chip. That would mean he yeah, got the MVP that. and all that. I know that, but I don't, well, he ain't go high or nothing. I ain't thinking. No, he, he won no round. lottery. He won no lottery. I ain't thinking for a round. I thought he was undrafted, but you might be right. He probably went late. But nigga wasn't thinking he about to get no max contract, you know, some shit like that. Yeah, see, he's 26. He... And what he was... Second round, third and third overall. All oh, right, so he was right there, right after the first round. So, yeah, playing. see, he played four years at Villanova, <coughs> fifteen to eighteen, and he a winner. <coughs> I think they won it twice, huh? <coughs> yeah, he got two him, three Cam Bridges. He won it twice. Dude hit the three, <coughs> the deep. Right. But we um we ain't got too much more time, but we're gonna be wrapping it up, but. We got to hit on our Saints right quick, huh, Woo? Yes, sir. We got Derek oh, yeah, Cole, got Derek yes, Cole. Sir. I'm excited. I fuck with Derek Cole. I think he had different situations with Oakland. Six different coaches, man. Six coaches. different systems. And I, I feel fuck. like this how year. How you going to succeed in that? Just how you said Westbrook and them <clears> by, they lose by that much, that's what Derek Cole was doing. He losing by two, three, one, every Yeah, game. and your coach going for two and shit. You heard me? You feel me? Them people could have easily been 11-6. Going in the playoffs, beating somebody. Because them niggas was good. They got the number one rusher, Josh Jacobs, with yeah. the best receiver in the league, arguably. That's why I said it was meant for him to come here. With the best, I can say the best tight end, they arguably. Because if they, if, if by the third, fourth best if, tight end. If they win four of them games that they lost by three, he's still their quarterback. We don't need much got them. They ain't talking about how we, we, we don't even get him. We don't even get him. We really lucky right now. Yeah, dog, we, that we, shit we lucked up on him. David Cosper to be in Oakland signing a, another big old contract. Right, right. Real. They really tripping. They, I don't know if they think they're getting Lamar, Tom Brady or something. Because they tripping with that move. I ain't lying. Yeah, that move mm. was stupid. They let the public say they got to get rid of Derrick Cole. You know, you know what it was though too? He was about to get them hundred million, ninety nine million he was gonna own. And why they had if he got released by a certain date, they save a hundred million or something. Well, they like, kind of Seventy million, some shit. So 
Yeah. To me, Garoppolo is not an upgrade. Oh, cause they, I, I didn't hear Garoppolo. Garoppolo not no fucking upgrade over Derek Carr. Stop yeah. playing. Derek Carr can really slang this bitch like yeah. Ever Rising, brother. Real talk, he can really slang this bitch. I'm not saying how good he is. Throw up the football, that dude good, man. I fuck with Derek Carr. He can scramble, he can run, he can do all that. We got us one. Now, nah, what I don't know, if Dennis Allen, I don't know if they, if, if Sean Payton left the fucking ingredients, Dennis Allen don't fuck with the offense. I know that he didn't hit Pete Carmichael. That's what I'm saying. Pete Carmichael. But ultimately, it's Dennis Allen. You know what I'm saying? With what we trying to do, or because he the one calling if we want to be a running team, a passing team. That's what I'm saying. Not just the play call. Sean Payton had all that. He got the play calling down pat, but he know how to manage his fucking game. He know how to do what we doing as being a head coach. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Dennis Allen got that with the Cause all that shit gotta line up. Right. All that shit gotta line up for niggas to be good. If you ain't Pat Mahomes or Lamar Jackson, just some shit where you change the game, period, no matter what's going on. And to be our you gotta, defense. You gotta have them right pieces around you. Huh? Fuck it right. Our defense, top five in the league if everybody on the field. Yeah. Everybody on the field, we coming with the top five defense. Yeah, true. Man, look for us for the contend. I look for us to contend this year. This Olave third year. What's going to happen Michael with Michael Thomas coming back? I felt like he should have took his That's why they said, we, they said we looking at Kareem Hunt. I heard that too. And Leonard. We looking at Kareem Hunt and Leonard. Because of the Kamara situation. Because of the Kamara situation, we talking to Kareem Hunt and Leonard. Right now. I don't know. Like any one of them. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Any the one of them, we good if Kamara missed six games. See what I'm saying? We need one of them for if Kamara missed six games, brother. Cause he, you know what I'm saying? Cause now they got him on audio saying, "Yeah, I hit that nigga squeak and flush on his jaw or something like." They got him audio saying like, "I hit that thing like, yeah." <laughs> they got him on audio, bro. Like, yeah, he, see, I don't really know he, what he happened. Go, he gonna serve like I'm six a, games suspension. I'm assuming bro. they. They knew they had a fight or something. I'm thinking they trying to just say it was justifiable. Like, you know, like, fuck, what else we was supposed to do? But I don't know what the fuck happened. But so I ain't gonna lie, though, now. This could, it, ooh, ooh, I just thought of something else, see? He, he could get what suspended for the Barkley? Him, too. He, well, he might about to be a free agent. Well, we can't. Get. We gave Kamara the money. But just see if Kamara get in trouble, though, like, he, he could get suspended for the year because I forgot he pleaded not guilty. He taking this to trial. If he lose this and get convicted for beating that dude up, they're going to suspend him a year. What's what I'm saying? Though? The whole season. Yeah, running back. I'm pretty sure that, that guaranteed money ain't gone. You don't think we'll, we'll release him? For Barkley fucking right. For Barkley fucking right. Derek Cuss, Quan Barkley with these receivers, Olive, Olive and all them, you know, got veteran receivers and a young, really? speedy. You got a conspiracy theory. This is right? win now. You know what I'm saying? We ain't rebuilding if you, you know. Listen. You got your veteran quarterback. about a rebuilding. Listen, you got a conspiracy theory, bro. I still feel like the NFL, the bitches owe us a shot back at the trophy, brother. They, they owe us a shot. I, I know it be sounding crazy, dog. This shit, this, this shit bigger than... Them bitches owe us a shot at the trophy from that call, dog. The bitches took a bowl from us. The bitches took a Super Bowl from us. This shit ain't been talked about enough. Them bitches <laughs> took a... Yeah, man, this shit ain't been... Them bitches took a bowl from us. Yeah. One year, brother. The bitches owe us a shot back at the trophy, like I've been saying. Get us in the playoffs and shit, bitch. You gonna see that whistle blow for us. That's all I'm saying. We deserve a shot back at that trophy, brother. They took that bitch from us, though. We got a good squad because I ain't gonna lie, though. Last year, with what we had, I expected us to contend. But with Derek Connor, I expect the same thing I expected last year coming in again. I hope they don't disappoint me. I think, like, we could play with the you, you, we could I play with the like best. Our difference this year was the coach. Listen, and, and I ain't saying do bad or horrible. I just think Sean Payton was that good of a coach. We would have been winning with the same fucking. Now team. look, I'm gonna fuck y'all head up. I know y'all. Some of y'all gonna laugh in this live, but with Derek Carr, we better than Philly right now. 
I take my team over Philly right now with Derek Cup. Why the fuck would you do that? We'll be, I, we'll be Philly. We, we, we got shit out there. We'll be Philly. We got the defense now. We going to lock Jalen Hurts up. I believe in my defense. See what I'm saying? This is where the Saints will be Philly at right now. We going to stop them, and now we got a nigga. We going to score. With Kamara, with Cup, with, with all that on the field, none of that gets suspended. Michael Thomas. Should I like, you feel like that though with the offense? Yeah, yeah this, I'm, saying, I know. These two I'm just saying. I like, like us. Like I like us. But, uh, with Derek Carr at quarterback, I like us. Remember, dog, <laughs> we was fighting niggas last year with Andy Dalton and shit. That's why I said we was good. We, we, was, just, we was good still. You know, we right? had a couple bad games. Yeah, right. was we, like, we was good still. With Derek Carr, I like us. Yeah, I like us. With Derrick Cup, we play in the body. Yeah, I like us. Spoken like a true Saints fan, you hear me? I like us. Bro. I mean, you know. I like us. You know, Philly went on there, right? When I say Philly hit the state, they is hit the state. When I when I say you hit the state, you're going to be in the mix every year. Now, you know what's crazy, though? You're going to be in the mix. Before I was saying that, you know what's crazy? Nigga, Andy Reid should feel good. Not only did he in the offs, nigga, that's a, a fucking organization you... Single handedly built this shit. built in Philly, mm-hmm. right? And left them niggas running right. That's his coach, and that's his coach. He, whoever he would have put there, right? Right, right. You see what's going on. This is a winning organization. They went to the fucking NFC Championship six years in a row with dude. Yeah, they all got to the bowl once or maybe twice. Once out of that, what you know with Tio, and um, but let you know they winning all the time from. McNabb, Vic. I can't even think about before that. But, before uh, McNabb, cut down. Cunningham and you shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, Andy Reid, that's all his work that was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> that's crazy. I ain't gonna disrespect Philly. I, 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 that was disrespectful. But at the same time, brother, real talk, though. I like us against Philly. Right now, with what we got, Philly coming at dome, they come and take a L. That's all I'm saying. With Derek Carr underneath the center, with 100 bands and everybody healthy, Lattimore, everybody healthy, everybody on the field, me, everybody on the field, Cam Jordan, all these people healthy, Michael Thomas, all these people playing, I like the fucking sucks over, over, over Philly, boy. Yeah, and they ain't just talking as a safe fan. Michael Thomas ain't even played but a game. Landry be nice and healthy. Olada, on, we boy. really got a squad. No, on paper, I'm like a number sure. eight or nine. We about to release and Landry probably. I hope we don't. But boy, look, that fucking rookie that came in, he cold. He got he playing. He on the field. Olave? No, number eight or nine. Oh, he's on the field. Oh, I forgot man. his name. That guy. He's on the field. We gotta yeah. wrap it up, dude. Gotta get out of there. All right. Yeah, ain't no picks of that like that right now. We gonna come. We gonna double back quick with the next episode. We gonna double. Sure. We gonna double back quick. We gonna be back at it. This just was a touch up. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Smoking sports. We Smoking out. Sports. We out. Yeah. We out, brother. This was a freestyle Tuesday. You feel me? Yeah. All right. Freestyle that, Tuesday. That's what I'm looking at doing for the new. For the new.